I want to talk about something that you've probably seen across social media channels, your social media channels certainly, and, and other places over the past 24 hours. Uh, and it's the man who helped create and co-hosted the Canadian health and fitness segment, Body Break, who decided to reveal some startling news. In a YouTube video, Hal Johnson says the series was started to combat racism. Take a listen. You think that Body Break was started because of fitness. Well, it wasn't. It was started to combat racism. That was the number one reason that we started Body Break, Joanne and I. I thought, how can I, how can I change things? How can I make that we can all live, work, and play together? And there won't be um, this attitude that, that white and black and Asian and persons with disabilities and male, female, we all can't be together. So I came up with this idea, and the idea is Body Break. Johnson goes on to tell the story that inspired that decision. He says it started with a, a job offer. Uh, he was hired and then fired. Uh, and we've reached Hal Johnson today in uh, Oakville. What a pleasure to see you, Hal Johnson. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much for having me. So why did you decide to, to share this story? Because I mean, I grew up with Body Break as so many people did. It would never have occurred to me, I would never have known that you started it because you essentially lost another job that you shouldn't have lost. Yeah, it was a, a series of things over the years that, it, that it had occurred and I really had it, enough was enough. And, and how can we change the landscape? How can we make it that we can all, as I say, live, work and play together? And so I had just met Joanne, which really inspired the, um, the, the, the idea for the show that, that we could. And so uh, we, I talked to her, we put it together, and, we, and, and what we really want to show, what we wanted to do, was really never talk about it. Just yeah. show that people can live together. So show I'm, I'm black and Joanne's white, I'm black and Irish, and Joanne's German and Italian. We don't have to talk about it, we'll just show it. And that's why, when you, if you watch our Body Break episodes, and we're starting to put a lot of them up on YouTube, all the old ones, you'll see that there's a lot of different nationalities in our episodes, and persons with disabilities. And that is not by accident. Thinking that if we gave you a little bit of medicine, a little bit of, uh, that you'd be able to take it, ingest it, and you'd be become better in understanding that we can, so that having a black couple, a black and white, people together that would uh, that's normal and we're hearing on YouTube all the comments from people saying that they grew up with us and they thought it was normal Hal and Joe a black and white person being together and that's really uh, really heartening the, the story that you told, though, in the video dates back to 1988 when uh, you, you wanted to be a sports reporter at TSN and they hired you. But maybe you can just for people that haven't seen your whole video uh, tell them what happened after that. Well, they, uh, they hired me at 11 o'clock in the morning, a lovely gentleman named Jack Hutchinson, and he called me in tears at two o'clock, and he said he, he can't hire me because they already have another reporter, a uh, black reporter, his name is Mark Jones, who went on to ESPN and is a great reporter uh, down there, um, and, uh, and they didn't want to have two, the higher-ups didn't want to have two um, uh, black reporters at the same time. And so uh, that after that afternoon, I went home and I actually told Joanne about that, that that had occurred. I wasn't bitter. Um, I wasn't frustrated about, about that. I was, I was disappointed. But um, I was always told by my parents and shown that, you know, there's always a way. And as tough as it has been for me, it's, it's been a, a piece of cake compared to what they went through. So people ask me, how do you, how were you able to get through that? And I go, well, they got through a lot worse than I ever did. I had to go through. So, uh, you know, just literally just suck it up and do it. <laughs> so TSN, uh, even though this happened in, in 1988 yesterday, did, did issue an apology. I'll just read a little bit of it to uh, our viewers. They, they say they apologize to you for the racism you experienced, a shameful part of our past, and we thank him for sharing his story as a reminder of racism in Canadian media that continues today. Did that, did that mean anything? Did that change anything uh, for you, the fact that they recognized what had happened, that they apologized for it? Well, to me personally, they didn't need to do it. I'm not a victim. I'm not bitter. I'm uh, everything turned out okay, and so uh, I don't have any ill will towards TSN at all mm -hmm. or CTV. I mean, they were fine. I think what it, it does do is it it puts um, they're going to. I think I think the landscape of media is going to change. I think the hopefully the landscape of all the C suites 
They realize that you should have somebody at the table that is reflective of the community that you're serving. Yeah. And so uh, I think having another perspective is certainly helpful. Isn't it, do you think, would you have thought all those years ago that we would still be at this place where there wasn't enough representation uh, in media, certainly, but in other places as well? Would you have hoped that things would have gotten further? Would you have expected that to happen? Well, I, I don't know if expected, hoped, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, you, uh, things, things take a long time to change. Now, the pandemic, colliding with George Floyd and all of these other issues yeah. have changes happening really quick, a lot quicker. And my dad, who's 88, says he's more hopeful now than he's ever been before. So, yeah. you know, I think that's uh, that's encouraging. If if my dad, who's been through a lot more than I, is, enc is encouraged and hopeful, I think things are really gonna change. And, and, and you know, as, uh, and I put this in quotations, as tough as it is in Canada, it's much worse in the States. And I lived in the States for 10 years and, and I, I, I say in Canada, there's a lot of, there, there is prejudice. In the States, there's racism, hmm. there's hate. Hmm. Um, and it's, it's a very different country. And as I say, I lived there 10 years. I know what it's about. It's when you cross that border, I'm relaxed. Um, when I'm in the US and I'm driving, I feel hunted. I do not feel that way when I'm in Canada. Wow, but but you still you still see places for us to do work, obviously, because there's been a conversation, as you know, for the past couple of weeks about systemic racism and changes that need to happen in this country too. We, absolutely, I've done uh, I've I've been in literally hundreds of meetings with advertising agencies, um, uh, companies, and in, I've rarely seen, especially in PR agencies, advertising agencies, mm -hmm. people of color. And so, if they're advertising, if they're promoting. How can, they, how can they have a perspective? How can they understand? I was talking on a sports radio show today. I said, yeah. wouldn't it be different for having a black reporter talking to a black athlete and asking them, what's it like? For what's, sure. How is it different in Canada than it is in the US yeah. as it, for a black athlete? Um, a black reporter could ask that question to a black yep. athlete and they can, you can get even more information. And so I think that bring, uh, bring a collective group of people to the table. People with disabilities yep. would be fantastic to have at the table, can enrich all of our lives. And I think, I think why not? But the, the why not is that people don't want to give up power. And also, when you hire people, you often hire people that look like you. You know, how, and that are a reflection of you. How I've run out of I've run out of time, but I also have to tell you, I'm such a fan girl, and I love you and Joanne, <laughs> and say hi to her for me. I will, and I'm a fan. I'm a fan of yours, Rosie. Absolutely. <laughs> Hal Johnson. I'm Rosemary Barton. This is CBC News Network. <laughs>